When I was a young boy at school, I used to be jealous of the birds, how they could swoop and dive and, you know, do all the undulations. When you're on the bike, it's really like a rhythmic dancing thing. you just got to be in the right spot at the right time. I never did have the dream of being a MotoGP rider. It just actually happened. Working on the weekend's a good thing because uh, the traffic on the road during the weekend is worse than it is during the week. Before you go for a ride, it's always important to let someone know one, where you're going to, what time you're going to be back. You make sure the bike's right, tyre pressures, brakes are good, and the chain's got the right amount of tension on it. I remember going for a ride with some mates up to the Troy Baylor's Classic. It ended up being 47 degrees, and we all had our road riding gear on. If you don't want to go because it's too hot, don't go. Don't compromise and not put your gear on. Hey, you going, mate? mate yourself. Good, good day, bro. Yep. And the mates used to I'll go around the Great Ocean Road, go down to Port Ferry and run over the mountains on the way back. How I work the cornering is when you start wide, you can see further around the corner, and that's the secret to safer cornering. On a long ride, I usually plan the brakes to be about the same distance apart and just have little snacks. Once you have a big feed and all the blood goes to your stomach, then old mate upstairs gets a little bit lazy and starts the concentration starts to wander a little bit. The one beautiful thing about riding a motorcycle, it's like I can't dance to save my own self, but just getting into the rhythm of riding the bike, the challenge of getting that right, corner after corner, lap after lap, that's what tests you out. You've got to be ready for anything. Expect the unexpected. <laughs>